Hello, my name is Fern G. Z. Carr. My website is www.ferngzcar.com. Welcome to Shards of Crystal Book Launch Part 2. I'm pleased to share excerpts from the launch of my poetry collection, Shards of Crystal. The launch took place in New Westminster, a member municipality of Metro Vancouver, BC, Canada. It's also the location of Silver Bow Publishing. The event was organized by my publisher, Poet Laureate Emerita Candace James, and was hosted by Warren Dean Fulton, the MC of Poetry New Westminster's Poetic Justice Reading Series. This is part two of five of my book launch. Enjoy! I was originally going to call A Walk on the Wild Side, and then I realized, oops, this is about more than just wild animals. There are poems in here about domestic animals as well, so I changed it to Animalia. And this first poem, Duckling, is a true story. My husband and I were going for a walk and we saw this, and it, it took a while to register as to what was actually happening. Condos tower over a wetland sanctuary where painted turtles sun themselves on flat rocks. Dragonfly helicopters dart among the reeds. Red-winged blackbirds alight, swaying in the breeze. Damselflies spin the water from mosquito <coughs> larvae and daphnia. Canada geese waddle imperiously along paths next to the water, glaring at passers-by. Mallard ducks emerge their emerald green heads, searching for minnows and algae, their feathered bottoms bobbing upright above the water. A female mallard glides along the surface, leaving a triangular wake of ripples that jostle her already imprinted brood of downy ducklings, swimming to the shore, where she starts to peck at the rent, grabbing its mate with her bill and forcing its fuzzy head underwater again and again. Despite the squawking of another female, balancing diagonally on webbed feet, flapping her wings in desperate protest against this infanticide, in an act so surreal that before it could even register in the minds of bystanders as more than spunky maternal discipline, the duckling floats limp on the water. You know, this poem, Convergence, about a different type of bird, this one's actually slated for a poetry post, I'm not, a pause, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but the League of Canadian Poets um, has, participating poets have their uh, selected poems posted, one per day, so this one is slated for March 25th online, and it's called Convergence. The intersection of a pane of sun and cloud with a faint click of hollow bones, bewildered black eyes, feet tipped with the droplet of scarlet, rattled, numbed, a grounding paralysis felling feathers that once graced azure skies, a grounding paralysis and a fuzzy awareness of the muffled patter of mittened paws. Okay, now we're dealing with bigger cats. Um, again, this is the true story. I read this about this in the news, and the epigraph in the poem is a dedication. This is dedicated to the animals that perished in Zanesville, Ohio, and this is called Lion on the Street. Magnificent beast, regal ragged mane, tawny physique, muscles rippling, tail switching, Fierce jaws open wide, bearing golden yellow spikes, menacing, menaced. Released from your ramshackle, chain link, faux zoo, a homegrown excuse for an exotic animal preserve, an accidental abdication, your massive paws unable to cloak the click clack of claws on concrete, your amber eyes not wild for the gazelle and wildebeest of the Serengeti, but wild at the sight of speeding metal and rubber, wild at the sight of your own blood and guts. Stripped of your majesty, 
stripped of your life, just a lion on the street. Okay, moving on to smaller kitty cats. Um, when I was president of the SPCA, I was at the shelter all the time, of course, and I, I would see these beautiful, beautiful cats, and I just wanted to take them all home with me. And I actually did with one of my sweet, sweet little girls. And this is called Escape. It's truly pussycat mentality. Piped in elevator music, barely audible, walks through a darkened room full of cages where luminous green orbs reflect the scant light. Even the dogs have refrained from yelping. They whimper in their sleep while their feet twitch as they chase imaginary rabbits. Motionless, but for her tail, swishing back and forth, she continues to stare with a look calculated to project laser beams that zap and vaporize metal bars. Their dematerialization, liberation, recapturing the essence of all that is feline as she slinks into the obscurity of the night. Uh, and actually this, one of the, whoops, one of the poems in here, Death Watch, I actually, this is a photo I took of my cat and I, I photoshopped my poem around the outline. Acknowledgements and credits. All poems contained herein copyright Fern G. Z. Carr. Duckling, Convergence, Lion on the Street, Escape, and Death Watch, visual version, are from my poetry book, Shards of Crystal. Duckling was first published in Poeming Pigeons. Convergence was first published in Pask Petals. Lion on the Street was first published in Miracle. Amethyst photo, courtesy of Grant Durer on Unsplash. Shards of Crystal photos, copyright Fern G. Zag Carr. Videography, courtesy of Alex Carr. Book launch organized by Silverbow Publishing and Poetic Justice Reading Series, Poetry New Westminster. Venue courtesy of the Heritage Grill.